Hey, uh, today's part two of how to make a script hub. Um, in the first part, we just uh, covered uh, how to like start and how to make the UI library work because we are using Orion, uh, and how to actually uh, make the script uh, work for only this game. So every game like has a different script. Um, today we're actually going to start making an actual auto farm for like auto weights, the maybe the machines and maybe the eggs, maybe something else too. Uh, we'll see how much time we have. But yeah, let's get let's get started. So um, uh, yeah, we added the sections. We added a button, just an example, uh, tabs, and we made it work. So we are going to delete the button because we don't really need it. It was just an example. Open the uh, documentation, which is in the description. Uh, let's copy a toggle. Let's get like a toggle. Um, you can name this. Uh, let's say auto wait, auto use wait maybe. Um, we have a callback function. This defines uh, the state of the toggle, so if it's true or false, like toggled or not. Uh, let's actually add this to the auto farm section too. You remember to do that. Oh, I don't want to save that. Um, yeah, and that's it. And now what we have to do is because I use functions to um, like I put the functions inside of the buttons because I think it's a lot more organized that way. Uh, and I use global variables to um, so that the function knows if the button is uh, set to true or false. So what we have to do is get genv. We close this off with two brackets, brackets, and then dot auto use wait. You can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to name it auto use wait. Um, and then make this the value. I'm going to call the value as auto use wait value. Because it's a lot easier to know which one it is then. And we have to name these individually too. Uh, so you do that. And then we have to call a function that we haven't made yet. But let's call it auto use wait. And then we just close it off with these brackets. Uh, above the section. No. Uh, under the sections. Let's add a new comment. Let's call it functions. Well, let's close it off. Uh, now we got to make this function. So what we do is. Um, function close end oh not x handler yeah just like that um now we have to check the state of the um the global variable so uh <coughs> while uh get genv dot i mean brackets dot auto use wait um and task dot wait are we making the wait so that the game doesn't crash and so that um, uh, we don't spam it all the time because it could make the game laggy. Uh, so while that do, close it off. And now we need to use a uh, remote spy. So we need to get the remotes of how, of like when you use the actual thing. So I'm going to use simple spy. Uh, I think it's a lot easier than using hydroxide for example. And I just think it's a good one. So I'm going to use this one, uh, let's inject um, Krampus, so if you haven't watched the first video you can, because uh, the first video I made is about how to use Krampus, how to buy it etc, so you can watch that one um, if you don't have Krampus and you want it. You can also use a free um, executor but you would need a emulator too. So I am going to make a tutorial on how to use free executors on emulators but uh, it's going to take a while because I haven't used them before and I just want to check it out first. So yeah, when we have injected, um, should pop up when you click insert. So now let's inject this, I mean execute. As you can see we got it. We've got this, we can, uh, you can uh, exclude this and then just click exclude. Like click on one of these, exclude, and then clear logs. That means it's not going to uh, show that remote because it, it's just a spam remote. So um. Yeah, to get the remote of what we need, uh, we need to get to tool and just click. And as you can see, it says use tool, which means that this is um, if if it would make this two, then it's going to use uh, the second uh, tool that we have. And if we do three, then it's going to get the third one. If we have one, we don't have one at the moment. But let's copy this code. Let's go back in our script, and in here, let's paste this in. So basically what I usually do is make this uh, a lot smaller by just uh, going at the end of the lines and just deleting everything because this is a table so 
no no matter how it looks like it can, it's still going to work as it's a table so just like that this should work now if we inject i mean execute this uh let's see as you can see it works because he uses it you can clear the logs so as you can see it does work uh, one funny thing in this game is you don't even have to go to the machines to make it work because if you just click your mouse it's going to say activate machine and actually if you go here and check what it's going to say I don't know if I have the because I think you need like 1k yeah okay just give me a moment I'm gonna farm to 1k and then I'm gonna be back hey um so now I got to 1k and as you can see if you go here and then click as you can see it does the activate machine so what we are going to do is go back to our script and to add this just copy the old toggle paste it in now do auto use machines uh, so let's call this auto use machines the global variable uh, let's rename this to to auto use machines value and then change the uh, function so that it doesn't do the same as this one so now we also have to make the actual function so let's just copy the old one paste it in uh, rename it so we can just copy paste here same thing here paste it in the name of the global variable uh, and now we just have to copy this so copy code by the way if you click this then it should turn red and that means it's not going to show the logs as you can see it doesn't show them if I click and if I turn it on it does show so you can just turn that off for now I uh, go back uh, so yeah let's paste in this and again we can just delete the lines I mean the things behind this the spaces just like that this and this oh deletes the one thing and now we have like a smaller uh, line so we have this in one line instead of like five or something. So now, again, you can just copy this, go into the game, paste it in. It's going to automatically um, replace the old one. And if we do, so we can turn this on and this on. And this is still going to work if we do the opposite. Let's do this. We can just have this on all the time. Uh, if we go here, it's going to do it without me clicking. As you can see, if I go off this then I click this as you can see it works and as you can see I got a new um, thing so if you want to add uh, this push-ups right yeah it's not going to work right now so to make it work you can just go back again um, make a new function let's copy this one actually I'll also use wait paste it in auto uh, auto use push-ups or auto push-ups um, well, I'll get again again also push-ups and then you just change this to uh, three because that's the name that's the number of the <coughs> of the uh, tool but the thing that you do because this is still a tool kind of so um when you've done that we have to make a new button let's make this one uh, under the auto use weight auto push ops uh, again change this to auto push ups copy this here auto push ups let's copy this rename these and now it should work so let's copy it paste it in now if we turn this on this works this works and this should also work yeah just like that as you can see it does work just a problem with it getting off because it's but yeah spams the thing so uh, now that you know how to make that it's basically just replacing the number to something else for these and the auto use machines it's going to use every machine automatically now uh, just not the running that actually has an auto run uh, a free one so we we don't have to try making that neither and as i said this is how you make it, uh, scripts for every game so let's say you have a clicker game uh, you just get the remote of the clicks and replace this. Um, but yeah, that's it for that part. We can make auto collect gifts. Um, 
So what we do is turn this on, then we have to claim a gift, as you can see, it says claim gift, uh, and then it says one. So this is the first one, second one, third one, fourth one. So we just copy this, oh no, actually, first we have to make the actual button. So for the uh, gifts and stuff, I usually make a new tab called misc, so boom, let's call it misc tab, then let's call it misc. Uh, now make a section, call it uh, auto claiming, auto claiming section. Uh, and remember to change this <coughs> to the MISC tab. Uh, and then call this the auto claiming. Um, so now we have the auto farm stuff, and as I said, I usually make a new comment let's make this under the auto rebirth thing uh, so boom uh, and then misc stuff like this close it now we have to add a button so we can just copy this one mm, paste in uh, the section so just like this then auto claim gifts now change this uh, the value to auto claim gifts or whatever else you want to make it uh, we change this value so I'll to use machines again we can copy this paste this in and now we have to make the actual function again so we go to the function let's just copy a different one uh, and then we have to name it so I'm just going to copy this uh, here we go just like that um, and now we need to get the um, the actual remote so just copy it let's turn this off for now uh, let's go back let's paste this in and again we just make this shorter by deleting the uh, the spaces slash the like tabs behind this uh, so just like this and what we have to do is just this then let's make a wait that is going to wait 0.1 seconds and we are just going to repeat this eight times there are other methods methods to do this but i'm just going to go with the easy way uh one two three four five six seven eight uh, so now we just change these numbers so one two uh, three four five six seven and then eight and now this is going to work it's going to claim uh, gift one two three four five six and seven and eight let's make this every 0 0.5 you could make this one second too i'm just going to make it 0 0.5 and the weights say are just to make sure that all of these don't run uh, at the same time just make it a little bit of space make it like wait a little bit so um let's copy it uh, oh our roblox crashed uh, that's weird. I'm going to uh, rejoin and then I'm going to be back. Alright, I'm back. I'm guessing it's a Krampus issue. I don't think the script should uh, crash like that. But let's run the script. As you can see, we still have some of these. We have one. So if we click misc, also claim gift. As you can see, it did claim it. Just like that. Uh, and when this one uh, hits zero, so when it's ready, then it's going to claim it automatically too. You can do the same thing with the achievements. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you just claim one, get the remote, and then just make uh, the same thing that you made with the gifts. So something else that we could make. We can make the uh, the auto rebirth, but the problem with this is we have to actually hit what 10k. So I'm not going to do this this video. Um, I'm just going to do this off camera and then. Uh, um, when I hit 10k, I'm going to make a new video, so that's going to be in part 3. Uh, so we, I'm going to show you guys the achievements, just so that um, we fill in those 7 minutes that we have left, because I'm going to make every part 20 minutes long. So, uh, let's execute Simple Spy. Uh, boom. Like this. Let's exclude this one, so that it doesn't spam with it. Uh, get the achievement, claim it, as you can see, it's going to say collect achievement 7, because it was the, 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 the last one. So, 
go in here. Let's make a new tab just so I can save this. Um, now, again, let's make a new toggle. Uh, let's copy this one. And then let's call it auto uh, collect achievements, maybe. Yeah, let's 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 say that's good. Um, auto collect achievements. Achievement, just like that value. Place this. Boom, boom. And now when we have that one, let's um, uh, let's create a function again. So we can just copy this one. Auto claiming gifts, paste it in, delete all of these. Uh, let's get this, paste it in, make it short to like the last one. Oh, deleted the like that. Just like this, we have it short again. So do the same thing. Uh, remember to replace this with the one. Uh, boom. Again, the weight. 0.1 seconds. Uh, so we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, eight, eight, four, five. Six and seven again like this and now this oh yeah remember to uh, name it how we should name it to so get this I'll claim I mean I'll collect achievements Oop. let's paste it in uh, let's disable this one up here okay let's get misc so we've got do you have any yeah if we click auto collect as you can see it does collect them um so yeah that's probably it for this video uh i'm going to show you guys the auto eggs and the auto rebirth in the next video uh which is going to um come out tomorrow because uh, i want to post every day or every couple of days because uh, sometimes there's just no nothing to do you know no, no news no nothing uh i'm hoping um krampus gets a system overall soon because uh they said they are remaking Krampus, uh, like the whole system, uh, on their Discord like seven days ago now. So I'm hoping to see that soon, because uh, it should fix all of the ISP issues, the VPN issues. Uh, I don't know what about the Blockstrap issue, but it may still be a thing that we need to use Blockstrap. But we'll see. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, by the way, I really, uh, I'm really happy that you guys liked the first video I made. Uh, it has 4,000 views already, which is absolutely insane. Um, I've got around 20 subs since um, the first video. So I'm really happy that you guys um, like to watch the videos. Uh, and I hope I'm helping you guys. And I, um, I'm also having fun making these videos. So make sure to leave a sub uh, with a bell, uh, like the video, comments, uh, and yeah, see you guys in the next video.